Hi everybody. Welcome to what I hope is going to be the first video of many. I have decided to embark on the quest to build a robotic arm. And I've wanted to build one of these for a while. And just either didn't have the money or the time or the place to do it. But I now have that, and I found the perfect arm to build. Uh, I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen in a minute, but it is the AR3 robotic arm. Uh, it is by, oh, let me see here. Um, who was it by again? Annan Robotics. Um, it is an awesome looking arm that has the strength that I want. Um, my goal, and this is the dumbest goal ever, but you know, hey, this is ADHD DIY. This isn't anything smart. Um, I'm gonna get it to pour me a beer. That is my goal. By the end of the summer, this robot arm will pour me a beer. But anyways, currently though, what we have is a bunch of components. Ooh. And we are going to have to take those components and assemble them in all sorts of interesting ways. So while I get everything together here, I will definitely just fast forward through all of this. So enjoy. Okay, so that's it for some most of the loose stuff that I had to purchase, except for some wires and some other things. So next up we have the parts that I 3D printed myself. Uh, I did those on my Kitty uh, X Plus, which you can kind of see there, along with my laundry. <laughs> So let's go ahead and pull the 3D printed parts out. I think they came out really good considering uh, the how little I know about 3D printing. And by little that I know about 3D printing, I mean I literally just hit the button. I love these little octopus guys. It's one of the first things I usually print with a new spool. I forgot to pull the rafts off these. That's all right. It'll make for some riveting YouTube. All right, that looks like all the 3D printed parts. All right, let's get these in some assembly of semblance 
of order. Those go together here. That over here. These go together here. Like that goes with that. This goes. Yeah, this goes like this. All right. Uh, I sure hope I don't lose this piece. All right. Now, the next bit of parts, these are what I ordered directly from their website. Um, mostly because I really wanted to make this the best I could. So these are machined aluminum parts. I'll be unwrapping those as needed. Otherwise, I will just lose them. Oh, oh, no. No, Johnny Five. Don't die. Now the kit that they sell online is actually fairly good. Although I wish they would send a they would sell a kit with all the little bits and parts in it because that gets really hard and tedious to pull everything together. So once I pull all these bits and parts, we'll take a picture of them all and hopefully in a couple of months or weeks. We won't have those parts anymore. We will have the full deal. I wonder what's in these white boxes. Let's take a look. Oh, these are the bearings. Those look nice. Yes, they do. All right. And then this is all the basic stuff. All this. Now, let's move this over here. We're just going to pile this all up. Yep, that's real smart of me. But I cannot wait. Now, if you're wondering, why do I call this channel ADHDIY? Well, if you just take a look at my workbench, you could probably tell. There are bits and pieces of projects all over here that are started and never completed. And my goal with this YouTube channel is to just document creating this arm so that I complete it to all of the single tens of people that are watching my channel. Maybe, maybe dozens. I don't know. I mean, literally I have like four videos, so who's going to be watching it right now? But I'm looking towards you guys, girls, to uh, cheer me on. Now we get to the fun parts. Ooh. This is what I've been waiting for. And I would show you the box. I need to get a taller stand here, but the box is huge. And this is from Stepper Online. Now, Stepper Online has a full kit of all the servos, power supplies, you know, all of that stuff that you need to go with this. 
And we're just going to take a quick look at each of these because they're pretty. Or I'm hoping they are. So I'm just going to unload this and then we'll take a peek in each of these little boxes. All right. Oh, and also, um, yeah, I am not an electrical engineer or an electrician or a roboticist. I am literally an IT guy. And the best I've ever done is some mild Arduino and Raspberry Pi programming. I've built a couple of pre-made robot arm kits. Nothing amazing. Oh, that's a nice little power supply there. Just a couple of fun little projects. So one of the thing one of the reasons why I was glad to find this is actually not for the mechanical portions, but for the software that he has available. Because from what I can see, the software will fully integrate without me having to do much, hopefully. Now, if we were to get stuck, I got my buddy NASA, and NASA, that's a stepper driver, that's a big hunky one. And he is a roboticist, and we call him NASA because he once did, he did his internship at NASA. I mean, makes makes sense, right? When you say it like, like that. Ooh, lots of these stepper drivers. Probably one for each of the motors, I believe. This is a six degrees of freedom uh, bot. So I'm guessing there's six of these. Yep, four, three, four. Five. Yep, yep. Looks like they're the same thing. So we got five of them. Might be more down here. Ooh. I might just leave these in here. But here we go. Let me pull these out. And here are the stepper motors that we'll be using. That's got to be the one that goes right in the middle. It's a linear actuator. Oh, look at this beefy boy. Oh, look at that. That is a motor. <sighs> Geared stepper motor. Oh, look, they actually have the AR3 as part of their part number. That's pretty awesome. This probably goes near the wrist, I'm guessing. That one looks like it goes in the wrist. And these are probably the elbow. Nice. All right. Well, that looks like everything. Um, there's a couple more little bar parts that are going to be coming in. Uh, a little electronics box that uh, that we can place the, um, the stepper motor, uh, stepper drivers in. Yeah, there's me dropping something. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a professional. Please do this at home. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I've wanted to do my entire life is build robots. 
I did not have the uh, attention span for school uh, back when I was younger. That was uh, fixed a bit with some medication. As it was, uh, I grew up in the 80s. And the 80s was when a lot of people didn't believe in that type of medication. So it took me until my 30s before I ever tried it. And now I am four classes away from finally graduating. And I have a really good job, an amazing wife, and enough money to finally build my robot arm. Alrighty, uh, I think that's going to be enough for me talking. Um, and I'll just leave this running here for a little bit, and we'll speed through probably the first couple of steps of uh, the build. So I'm going to put you on pause so I can or pause this, stop this right now, so I can save this part of the video, and then I'll start the build.